So hello everybody, welcome back to the longest journey blind to me Varex in the chat. Hello chat. <laughs> Hi FK. <clears throat> What's the book of secrets? We don't know any secrets. So puzzles. Right, so. We are a bit stuck. I will admit that. I don't know what to do. Hi, Cell. Big surprise. I'm still here. Uh, so, currently, in our inventory, we have this random selection of things. We got the clamp. Got this hat and this thing. I know we have to fix the glove. Uh, what are we trying to do? We are trying to get the key to get into the back of the theater so that we can meet Cortez. That's what we're trying to do. Um, if you need to catch up. In order to do that, we need the rubber ducky, I think. Don't... don't you, you know best not to ask this, Dave. Ask these things. Um, <laughs> we need the rubber ducky from outside our room. In the in the um, hi Rube. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so I'm gonna go back to that area with the. Um, so we did this machine thing. Um, down here. This way. To the, the theater. Because I know the ducky comes along here. There's a very hungry bird outside. Yes. So, we need bread. But where the hell do I get bread from? I remember that bit. Maybe the cafe. Now buy some bread at the cafe. I don't know. Like where the hell do you get bread? See, I... I can look stuff up. Ducky! <laughs> All ducks' names are Ducky, unless they're called Donald or Daffy. Or Gerard, of course. You're a mystery doll. Save Gerard. Yes, okay, it was Gerard, wasn't it? I do apologise, it was Gerard. What? I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What you That's Charlie. That's Charlie. I'm glad you're here. I need somebody to talk to. Oh. Yeah, me too. What's going on? Hi, Dri Drionki Drion Ik Drionkik. Hello. <clears throat> Drionic. Drionic! I don't know why I put the extra K in there. Drionic, hello. Weird stuff has been happening to me. Doesn't it always? <laughs> Not like this. I was convinced they were hallucinations, after effects of my dreams. But yesterday and last night? Last night? That's incredible. Me too. Oh! <laughs> don't interrupt! What happened? You haven't heard anything about what happened to you last night? No, tell me. Around 11 last night, I was working the bar and, well, I couldn't see how it started, but the music suddenly changed and the place went dead quiet. I walked over to the far end of the bar. Hi, Zia. Something, it, it wasn't human, definitely not like any human I've ever seen, just appeared out of the thin air where the jukebox is, playing an instrument. At first, it didn't seem to notice anyone. Everyone stood there watching it, dead silent. Then it looked up, and then it just disappeared. Everyone was staring at the jukebox, and then at each other. And then things just went back to normal. It was as if they all chose to block it out. It was scary, girl. I couldn't get the image of that creature out of my mind. And the look on its face. It was real, that's for sure. As real as you and me, but 
different. Now I want to hear your story, April. What happened? This is gonna be hard to believe, but it's true, I swear to you. Of course I'll believe you, girl. Last night, I came home, and Mickey and Fiona were watching the screen, so I joined them. We watched a documentary about the rainforest, and... and... Ooh, nice. What happened? The room turned into a jungle. Are you serious? No, I'm lying to you. Of course I'm sure. I was there. Fiona was there. Mickey. We all saw the same thing. A jungle. But only for a split second. Then it was gone. Just like that. And it wasn't like a hologram. It was more real than that. It smelled right. The air was thick and humid and... And it didn't feel synthetic like those shows they have. It felt real. The worst part was, it looked familiar. Like something from a, a dream. I recognized the place and I recognized the emotions I had being there. From where? Like I said, from dreams and from experiences I've had these past few days. Strange stuff, scary stuff, but I'd rather not talk about those experiences now. <laughs> I understand. Wow. Heavy. It's amazing how similar our stories are. And it scares me because... Have you considered the possibility you've been drugged, Charlie? Or subjected to some holographic experiment? You prefer that to the alternatives? That we're going crazy? Or that there's actually something... Something going on? Something we can't understand? You think those alternatives are better? I can't tell you, April. All I know is the experience was as real to me as yours was to you. And to a lot of other people. Um, ah, see, yeah, because you got a choice earlier, didn't you? It's like, you want to hang out tonight or not? And I said, no, nah, I'll probably be busy. Whereas you guys said, yeah, sure, I'll come along. So at one stage, you'll end up back at the apartment, and another stage, you'll end up in here. But maybe this is better because, you know, if you... If you miss the other one, then... Fiona and... Mickey, um, might have just put it down to like drugs or whatever. So at least you know it was real there as well as here. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Oh, you can see both. Why okay. would I mind, girl? <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Didn't know you could miss the other one. Ah, okay. So I, there you go. I missed stuff. Well, that was interesting. Okay, we can at least... Change the music. Okay, so we got that. We still haven't any bread, by the way. Yes, they are. Yeah. You see bread? You see bread? Fresh bread. Love the food in this place. We have a great kitchen. You see bread? Yay! Oh, now we can go and feed the bird. What was the bird's name? Do we do we find a bird? Oh, hang on, wait a minute. We have to look around, I guess. Tom's Follies. All right, I guess that's it. You also only saw the one. Yeah, okay. Cool. We're all learning. Can you say Death Star? Let's blow this thing and go home. Look at the size of that thing. Use the force, Lou. Geronimo, okay. I'll go and I'll go and um feed the bird, because at least that's something we know we can do. Yeah, this is one of those games where you'll have to visit every area every time something happens in case something changed and click on everything every time and then click on every part of everything you get every time. <laughs> I'm going to feed the bird. Let's, let's read about the, the bread before we uh, feed the bird. 
It's a loaf of freshly baked bread from the cafe. I wonder if I can eat it now, but then I'll have to go and get back another one, so... A whole loaf of bread. Oh, maybe we have to eat it first. Yeah, it's too much for it, isn't it? Okay. Uh. I'm not particularly hungry. You're not. Oh, okay. All right. Just a minute, Fresh then. bread. You sure I can't give the bread to the birds? Because you know that's what it's for. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I've got to do something with the bread. You're not particularly hungry, huh? Maybe throw it in the river. Or uh um spiky the bird can fly yeah okay I don't want to throw it in the water don't so where do you use the bread oh oh okay you put that on there and then the bird comes yeah okay it's gone we're good off. Oh, no, there it is. Hey! Gerard, where have you gone? Oh, there's something there. No, no. Oh, wait. Okay, we need that. We need that. We need that. It's a plastic coated clothesline. Gerard, where are you? Run. <laughs> Run. Run. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I'm running. I'm <laughs> running. I'm running. <laughs> there he is. Get back up there. Ooh. Ooh. If I turn that wheel, would the drain pipes of the universe open up and swallow all solid matter? It could happen. If I turn that wheel... So. It's a band-aid. How did that get there? Last I remember, the seagull had pecked a hole in the dock. Weird. Weird. The duck's deflated. It is. The duck's deflated. The, du 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 duck's deflated. <sighs> right, okay. It's probably, um... I don't know how to do this. So we got we got a band-aid now. Band-aid TM. It's a band-aid. The D is deflated. <laughs> Hi, Baron. Uh, the duck's inflated. Yeah. Yeah, for now. No, it's not. Okay. So it's, it might be time-based, that one. I'm sure it's something to do with the sticky candy. Yeah, okay. Eat it. 
Okay. It's a sticky, half-eaten piece of not particularly hungry. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's progress. What are we trying to do right now? Well, uh, I've no idea. Patched up and good as new. To be honest with you, mate, I've no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to fix the ducky now. Ask me why I'm trying to fix the ducky. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm trying to fix the ducky, but I'm trying to fix the ducky. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing! I don't think this has anything to do with what we got to do now. But I'm glad you said it's that, Hugh. Of organic plastic. Because at least that means... I'm getting somewhere. Ducks deflated. Oh no, no, you do, Dragonster. You do have to fix the ducky. You need to fix the ducky to get the key. I know that. You need to fix fix the ducky with the clamp and the clothesline to get the key, but you need to inflate the ducky. I remember that. Can't forget that. <laughs> But I don't know how to do all those things. All right, let's, let's get that and put that on, uh, on the ducky. Yeah, the key, key, the key. Oh, right there we go. So now, it's a clamp. It's got a clothesline tied to it. Yeah. So yeah, this is what you do, isn't it? I mean, this is this is intuitive. <laughs> all right, and then, uh. That won't do any good. I need something tight to keep the clamp open. Oh, okay. I'll save it, yeah. Of course I am, Kada. Oh, by the way, hi, Kada. Um, good to see you. Sorry I didn't say hello to you before, but I was, uh, you know, it was dialogue. That's right. That's right. Well, this is definitely... Alright, I need to keep the clamp open. <laughs> that won't do any good. I need something tight to keep the clamp open. I don't know. Let's try, every, try a hat on the clamp. Sweets on the clamp? No. Ah, okay. Right. Fair enough. Let's go there. Okay, alright. See, it's just, it's just, yeah, yeah, okay. But without the context of, because, of, of, of knowing that you need this to get the key, it's like, well, why the hell would I need to, I don't know. I was a wee lass. I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house, but I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. Yeah. Well done, Narma. Obviously, this is not gonna work. The clamp's already closed. Yeah. 
but yeah, okay, so this is this is good. Um, so yeah, well, that, that, that's some dedication that is. Have I got everything I need? I mean, I don't know. That won't do any good. I need something tight to keep the clamp open. Okay, wait, wait a minute. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. So this monstrosity is keeping the clamp open. Is what we need. And then you get this. That's it. <laughs> it's a pretty cool catch. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's this key. Oh, it's to the um Fuse box. It's a large iron key. All right, to the fuse box. But I want to fix the duck. Oh, hang on. No, that, that was in the right place. Yeah, so Gerard's gone now, isn't he? He's gone. That's it. Bye, bye, Gerard. <laughs> I know, Shadowhawk. <laughs> I know. Okay, so we need to go to, um... <laughs> Oh, wrong one. Ridiculous! <laughs> ah, ridiculous. Amazing. Oh yeah, I, I, I got to um, look at it. Oh. It's a fuse box. I know it's a fuse box. Well, this looks safe. Oh, uh, Oh, I didn't save. Dang, more key. Light up. Hell, it gone dead on me now. I'm going to have to fix that sign proper this time round, uh-huh. I just need me a ladder and some tools from the basement. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Why don't we just pickpocket him for the keys? We could have saved all that. It's a fuse box. I need to shut it. It's a it's a it's a, it's, a fuse box. It's a hazard. It's a fuse box. It's a hazard is what it is. We need to close it. <sighs> Health and safety. I know, Baron. It's nice detail, isn't it? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, I, I remember this one. I thought this one was easier. It's very silly, but I remember this one. Um, at least this part of it. It but reminds me of something, but I just can't put my finger on it. I feel an uncontrollable urge to raise my hands, though. Yes. The shadow's being cast by those garbage bags. Hi, Moon Phantom. When's the last time somebody picked up the garbage? Smells like moldy caramel popcorn and bingo cherry cola. Disgusting! <laughs> so that's what you do. Hey, you, yeah, you, hands up, spread your legs, and do the monkey. Are you dancing? You better be dancing. It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. Alright. I think you got the little guy right where I want him. Well, can you shut him up? Can we not just sh shut him up? Can we just... He's such a small guy, he sure makes a big racket. I know! Hey! You! Yeah, you! Hands up! It's a fire alarm and a smoke detector. Yeah. And do the monkey dance! There's no doorknob. It's impossible to open it from this side. It's a matchbook for the Fringe Cafe. Bit of arson, anyone? Alright, somebody's coming! Hey, old Blanksy, we got us a fire! Now, where is that voice coming from? Show yourself! All right there, mister. Just, just don't, don't you fire that gun now, you hear? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry I chased you earlier. Freddy will do the monkey for you right now, if, if that's what you want, uh-huh. He'll do the monkey until you ask him to stop, I reckon, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you, hands up. Spread your legs. And do the monkey dance. Oh boy. <laughs> See, I remember that bit. I think I, you know, I did it myself. And I, I saw uh, Lilia's no sort of game she missed thing as well. Um, no so that was, that was, you can do that a lot, a lot slower. You just light it and then he puts the fire out and he goes back inside again. Here we are. Look who it is. I wonder what film they're watching.
Okay. All the time I spent trying to get into the theater, he could have just quietly walked out to meet me. It'd be like kicking the guy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, use name. You got a point. You have no idea what I went through to find you. First... Do you like movies? Sure. Who doesn't? Wait a second. I was trying to tell you that... I don't much like modern movies myself. They're either too loud and expensive or too obscure and self-indulgent. But old movies, really old movies, have a charm and a simplicity that appeals to me. Listen. Please, don't interrupt me again. It's starting to piss me off. It's fair enough. But I have never interrupted you. Unless I've had something important to say, of course. But go ahead. What is it you wanted to talk about? Why did you make me search all over the city for you? Search for me? I've been here for hours, senorita. I haven't moved. The question ought to be, what made you go out of your way to find me? We agreed to meet this morning, remember? As I remember it, there was no agreement. I said tomorrow, but you refused. I assumed you weren't interested. I apologize for making myself unavailable, however. Don't give me that. You wanted me to come looking for you again. Actually, no. I, I had to lay low for a few hours. Does it have anything to do with the cop that was staking this place out? No. So it was a good thing I didn't stick my head out the door to look for you then, no? He's gone now. Are you in some kind of trouble with the police? Wait, don't tell me. Immigration. No, senorita. Not the police. There are bigger players than the police. I don't want to know. I'm not getting mixed up with the mob or gangs or anything like that. <laughs> There's not much you want to be mixed up in at all, is there? My life's complicated enough as it is, Mr. Cortez. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Answers. You want, you need, answers. You keep telling me that, but you never give me any answers. Just more questions. Like, who's out to get you? What's going on with me? How come you know so much about me? I plan to answer all your questions today, April. By the time you go to sleep tonight, your world will have changed. And nothing will ever be the same. You're just being cryptic again. It's like soap opera sex. Lots of boring dialogue, and when they finally go to bed, everything's dark and covered by blankets. You want the full Monty, then? Come with me. Come outside. Uh -huh. No more talk. I will show you the truth. Who is it? This is probably as good a place as any. At least there's no one around to see, except rats. To see what? Stand back, senorita. W what for? What are you doing? Why, Alice, I'm sending you through the looking glass. What is that? 
Please tell me it's a hologram. Get out, Snow. It's a mirror to reflect your dreams. I don't see anything, just light. Oh, you have to step through. Step through that? Oh no, I don't think so. This is the moment of decision, April. All time, past and present, revolves around this moment. The destiny of worlds is in your hands. But you must make the choice on your own. La vida es corta. You must decide how to live it best. I'm not sure what I should do. I understand. It's a difficult decision. Because whatever you do, your life will change forever. So take your time. Think about it. Don't rush into a decision you're not ready to make. I think you kind of have to do it. Can you leave and not go through? But wouldn't that like destroy the entire plot? I mean, I do have a day tonight. Just genuinely curious. Yeah. Well, I mean, is that a choice? It's not a choice many people would make. Someone was like, wow, you're going there, but... Um... Just delay stuff a bit, because, you know, it's obviously going to happen. Yeah, I, I did just try and do that, yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay, I'm off to watch TV. See you, bye. Bye. Alright, well, let's just go then. Hmm. Save the monkey. I don't know if I can. I did save, so... Is he still there, standing there? He is still... Okay, I got him. That's still there. So clever, I could just die. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the date. Come on, hurry up. That's brilliant. Ha, huh, so you can. No, it's true. Well, I, I went for the bottle well the first time I played it, and then I kind of like... That's when I stopped playing, which annoyed me. And then when Lily, Lily played it, she stopped playing at that point as well. I was like, no! <laughs> so... Oh, you missed it. Okay, now I'll see the video now. Sorry. No, no, everything's fine. Let's just go and finish our art project and stuff. Let's just go. Let's go and talk to our friend. Our friend's own friend. Because if I said it, it wouldn't be funny, you, you, you know, you're better off just finding it. <clears throat> Hi. Charlie? Oh, so nothing's really... Gotta go find Cortez again. Is this going to be a daily ritual with you guys? Oh, okay. I certainly hope not. Yeah, I don't think it gives you much else to do, does it? 
Charlie. Can I ask you a few more questions, Charlie? Sure. Yeah, that's Thanks, it. Thanks, Charlie. I don't think you can actually do anything else. I'm getting that feeling that even though it gives you the choice to leave. <clears throat> Which I, I don't blame the game for doing. Yeah, I was kind of, I kind of, kind of hoping something would pop up like that, username. But we'll go to the border house. We'll go to the, um, yeah, right. Who will? <laughs> but I don't think much will change. I just want to see for completeness, because like a couple people in the chat were like, "Oh, never done this before." Hi. Hi. Yes. Yeah, nothing's um, changed. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Yeah, so I reckon we should just go, because you know. But still, an interesting experiment. Our kid has played this as well. So we have two people who have let's played this. The date the date is somewhere that we can't get to. You know, it was downtown or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just pretty sure that you can't um You just can't do it. Knocking his... I don't think he'll be there. I honestly don't think there's any way to get, you know, it'll be part of the plot that you missed the date and whatnot. Oh, this isn't it either. Um... Yeah, so if you want to see how this game is should be played, watch Dragon's Let's Play of it, because you know you probably just breeze through it in a couple hours. The box office is closed. So, are you still down there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh Ready to step through the looking glass. See this? Oh. Maybe we missed this. I'm not doing it. Very well, go. I'll wait here for a while. Ah, there you go. Perhaps you will change your mind and come back before it is too late. Yeah, and then the same thing will happen. Probably. Yeah, so you can just go. To step through yeah. the looking glass. All right, I'll do it. <clears throat> Vamos, enter the light. Don't say that. It sounds too ominous. Just tell me what's going to happen. You're about to take the first step on the longest journey of your life. The longest journey. But don't worry. I'll be waiting right here. I must be insane to do this. Yes, it's pretty much a given. Huh. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> when you're ready to come back, pay a visit to a friend of mine called Westhouse, Brian Westhouse.
Lucius, child. And may the balance protect you. Cortez? Cortez! feeling about this. Wait, what was the name Cortez told me to remember? Westhouse? Ryan Westhouse? I think that was it. Cortez said to look him up when I wanted to go home. Well, I want to go home now. Oh, okay. Unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. Well, stop that. <laughs> he looks like some kind of priest. Hello. Et tu? Emilie, tu vas? I know he's supposed to listen to him, but... I don't understand. A cool star kayan paras. Inomalante candra. Ton maris. Ore tiesi ton. Who are you? Ken Esang, Maris Ortona. Magic and pose ton. Sare alvoca im iriam to a ithium. Where's Cortez? To tone a ken. To ken vernilia fata tim tu vermilian ton. So obviously we can't we can't hear what he's saying. But if we listen. Aku tu fata. Se quandare. Ken estale. Ton. Ton. Can it to a Iraim Bob Simil Quakite? Ton. Can it to a Iraim Bob Simil Quakite? All right, all right, all right, all right. There's something else. Where am I? Sankis tue. Ton an to Ken Avoch. A magic oh, is there? And ton an asans. Oh, it's down with oh, more, 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 more options. There we go. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> A cool candy. Good. Niranton al voce. Sank al coda magic. Torante. Salhe. Naven. All tongue. What does Alta mean? Maris, to Verinelia Aran to Torak Lock Eton. Aku Kandi. Good. Niranton Alvoch. Sank Al Koda Magic. Torak. Sorry, but I don't understand a single word you're saying. To a eres to montraki ton. To et vermilion fata. She called you fat. He called you fat. He called you fat. A cool candy. Okay, keep listening. A orta e beginning. Parasim tin you. You have thiesa e magic e sara. E the knowledge. Aritua ya a e tue by generations e umani. Knowledge of all tongue. You're starting to make sense. Magike, can earn san tue torank e lock maris. 
a cool candy. All right, you, got, you just got to listen. Um, <clears throat> oh, <our> English. <laughs> no, it's just because she can understand stuff. There's, there's a, there, was, there was a reply I was trying to get, and she says... Um, she speaks Spanish, and she speaks um, French, I think, as well. So she knows different languages, and uh, that's all what I was trying to get. You know, is that she she picks up languages really well, and it's just something she can she can do. So it's like a gift. A horta y beginning. Yeah. So we just gotta listen. Now you have allowed the magic to enter your heart and the knowledge of all tongue, ever present but dormant, to guide your ears and your tongue. I, I understand you. You speak English. Why didn't you just tell me straight away? <laughs> no, child. I do not speak English. There you go. I speak Naven, all tongue, the common language of Arcadia. No, not English. Arcadia? Wait a second. How did I get here? What is this place and who the hell are you? Oh, my manners have abandoned me yet again. I'm afraid my preoccupation with ancient texts and the company of my fellow fathers have left me unequipped with the grace of social intercourse. Meaning what? That I have been rude. My name, dear child, is Tobias Grensret. Tobias! I am the Vestrum of the Sentinel, the Order of the Balance. We are the fathers. Uh, okay. I'm April. April Ryan. I take it this is your first shift, your first passage through the Divide? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I guess this is my first shift. I just... Then I will explain everything. Someone must. You are without guidance, without a mentor? Mentor? There's this guy, Cortez. He assisted me, told me about magic and truth and dreams and portals. Crazy stuff. Well, it seemed crazy at the time, although now I don't... Cortez? Ah, yes, Cortez. Very good, very good. Then come, let us proceed. Let me show you Marcuria, the grandest city of all ages. Arcadia rings a bell to me as well. Explore Marcuria, April. See the sights, meet the people, and then, when you are ready, return to the temple. I will answer whatever questions you may have then. Oh, okay. Well, bye then. We'll need you. It's Constable Guybrush. Save it, a comfortable comfortable guy brush. No, 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 this way. <clears throat> so Nessala. Yeah, yeah, it definitely has a similarity, yes. Surprise, I'm still here. My intuition tells me maps that he sells maps. <laughs> That'd be good. Let's get a map. Maps, I got maps. Can I interest you in a map, miss? Top notch, hand drawn in quality ink by skilled sunriders. Ain't no better in all the Northlands. You know what, FK, you say that, but I wouldn't. To be honest with you, 
I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised. How much are your maps? Uh, that depends, miss. I got a very nice one here of the Border Mountains for only six Aaron's fresh from the quill of a Sunrider. Maps, get your maps here. Do you sell maps of the city? Can't help you there, miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though, from the city of Tyron to the Bay of Fire. Maps! Where can I find the Guild of Tourism? They're closed for the holidays. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. <laughs> Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, Max. Do you know Vestrum Tobias? Everyone knows Vestrum Tobias, girl. He's been an important part of this city for as long as I can remember. What can you tell me about him? The Vestrum is an honorable man, but a conservative one. And I don't know if he still has the best interests of the people at heart. Sometimes I think he worries too much about custom. The Sentinel have been our so-called protectors and keepers of the balance for so long, we don't even think of it anymore. But now that the Vanguard are introducing a new way of thinking, new philosophies, I'm afraid the Sentinel will find their power diminish before too long. Their resistance to change will be their downfall. Mark my words, their downfall for certain. And Tobias, honorable man that he is, will be remembered as the captain who went down with his ship. What do you know about Stark? Land of wonders, strange customs, and machinery. Ah, to be in Stark. I'd give my right leg, well, perhaps not my right leg as such. You really need two sturdy legs to stand on in this business, or you'll find yourself... Um, <clears throat> yes, a, a grand place indeed, free of this blasted, chaotic, unpredictable magic. Does no good to anyone. Now, machines built by man, controlled by man, in servitude of man. That's the future, isn't it? Yes, the Vanguard may be a little unorthodox in their methods and teachings, but they're right about one thing. Stark and Arcadia belong together, not apart. Mm. What's Arcadia like? What can I say about a whole world, girl? It's a beautiful place for sure, but we're stuck in the past. We don't look ahead, not like our cousins in Stark. Magic is all well and good, but it won't bring our world into the modern age, and Arcadia is untamed. It's wild and unpredictable. Good for the map business, sure, but not so good for productivity and expansion. No, oh, some people may consider our world a paradise. The Sentinel, for one, they'd prefer to keep it just the way it is. Me, I'd like to see some changes, and fast. How do you get along with your neighbors? The Cubs handler? Stay away from him, miss. He takes great joy in robbing people's purses. You can't beat him, not without magic. And he doesn't allow magic at his table. How would you know if I did use magic? Oh, he's got one of those blasted talismans. They're always digging up magical artifacts in Chicagriel, and they sell them to dogs like him for a silver coin or two. Get a proper job, you son of a mole! Thanks for your help. Maps! <laughs> no maps for me today, thanks. Fair enough, miss, but don't expect me to come running to your aid if you ever get lost in Riverwood. Without my maps, you'll probably end up a mole's dinner or worse. Maps? He sells maps.
pretty. What a sorry looking bird. Hey, you don't look too polished yourself, lady. Oops, I didn't know you could talk. Didn't look as if you could talk either. It's a talking bird. It's a talking bird. Of course it is. I wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. Let's give it a go. Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! What can I win? Well. There's coin, of course. Double your bet or choose from a wide variety of exotic prizes. Like this antique Domari canter from Guyenne. A superb replica of Mount Tyrannae cast in pure solid iron. A magic walnut from the once glorious island kingdom of Anciel. And this, um, unique bird. Get me out of here! Keep your beak shut, you scraggly piece of... <clears throat> and he talks! Great for feasts and for the amusement of infants. He's our top prize, a real keeper. How do I play? <clears throat> you put your coin down on the table. I put a cup on top of it and shuffled it around with the other two cups. And all you have to do is guess which one hides your coin. And remember, no magic used, and none allowed. This amulet right here will light up if you use magic. Then you'll be banned. For life! Yeah, Barry. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick. How do you get along with your neighbor? The maps merchant? We've faced each other for six years now, every single day, and he never speaks a word to me except to insult me. Nose high in the sky, calls me a charlatan, as if he's the guardian himself. You know good oversized bag of wind? <laughs> Do you know anything about Stark? Not much. I'm not too sure if I even believe in the place. I mean, you hear the stories and you read the books. Uh, well, I don't, but some do. <laughs> a place where there's no magic, only science? Sounds like a bloody paradise, doesn't it? I mean, with my, um, <clears throat> skills, I could make a killing in a place like that. What's Arcadia like? What a queer question that is. What's the world like? It's big, for one. And too expensive. And they should ban Dalmari women from gambling because I swear they have a second sight. Oh, clue. What do you know about Vestrum Tobias? Vestrum Tobias, eh? The high priest of the Sentinel himself. Did you know they call themselves the Fathers? What a joke. When was the last time they did anything for us, the people? No. They are only interested in sticking with their outdated customs and keeping their secrets under lock. I'm getting more and more inclined to listen to these new people, the Vanguard. Their ideas appeal to me. They may be radical, but we're past due for a change. Only thing I don't wholly approve of is their alliance with the Tyrant. Filthy, dangerous people. But the Vanguard seem to have them under control, so I'm not too worried. I wish they wouldn't allow them into the city, though. Thanks. Now, how about a game of cups? Mm hmm Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table and the game will begin. Yeah, we're gonna fight. Oh, I'll only lose it, though. What about, what about the ring? How about some sweets? No? No, come back over here. I bet it is this. 
Yeah. I'll probably lose it. This is probably the only place to use it, though. Um, and then I'll have to try and get it again. It seems kind of out of character to just use it like this, but at the same time, like I say, it's probably the only place to... Should I use it? Yeah, I'm tempted to use it. You can answer that deadbeat. You live here. <laughs> I gotta save it and, and, and do it. Arcanian coin in iron and other precious metals allowed at my table, young lady. Oh. Take your worthless gold elsewhere. Gold? Worthless? Now I have heard everything. Well, there we go. That's why no one answered. Maybe this pin is precious. It's not. Maybe some synthetic plant. No, okay, fine. No, no, the marketplace, the marketplace! We'll get that bird. The whole fountain's been carved in one piece from a granite-like material. Very impressive. Nice fountain. Nice fountain. Oh, go to the city? Oh, what's this? What the hell kind of animal is that? Go and find out! So the stalls is, a, is an area, but... It's the same place, isn't it? Oh. In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. And it's pretty darn good. Yeah, there's nothing else here that I can see, is there? Yep, the city. Okay. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, okay, we've just decided to leave. Hello. Those guys must be part of the city watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than the Newport cops, despite the lack of an exoskeleton. Yes, Shadowhawk. This guy's selling musical instruments. Most of these I don't even recognize. But he's got a drum in there and what looks like half a guitar and a couple of dried rabbit carcasses. Ugh. What was that? The walls look ancient. Mercury must be at least as old as anything back in the real... Uh, in my world. Huh. Stout guardians of the city. Wooden, but stout. And that blue fire is way cool. Oh. Stout guardians of the city. Wooden ancient walls. This lady's selling fresh fish. I've never seen fish like this before. But if it's wet and has fins, fish it is. Hmm. One down here? No? No, don't want to go that way. Yep, she is. Uh, okay. No, 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 not yet, not yet. This guy's selling lobsters, crabs, eels, and what the hell is that purple thing? That is so not appetizing. <laughs> it's the docks. Go to the docks. He's selling a variety of fresh shellfish and other uh delicacies. Thank you. 
Ooh, big ships. The size of these galleons is truly breathtaking. And there are dozens of dozens of them, not to mention a number of smaller vessels. Mercury must be a very important and very busy port. Hmm. Blue fire. It's either propane or magic. I'm guessing the latter. See you, Paul. <laughs> yeah, it won't be, won't be long until we uh, call it a night. Actually, there's a little way to go yet, I think, actually. We shall investigate the docks. Ship. Are we going to the ship? We can... It's a lighthouse, much like the ones we have at home, except this one, of course, burns a blue fire. Oh, yeah, that's of course, of course. Okay. It's a small ship or boat. I don't have a difference. Is there a difference? Is there a difference? I'm pretty sure there is. Assorted cargo. Assorted cargo. Small pier. Okay, yeah, that's different. All right, it's we'll a do... lighthouse. The blue. We'll do uh, the uh, where's the the, the the way back to the ship. The way back to the ship. Big boat. Okay. <clears throat> Judging by his ungainly stance, I'd say he's a mariner pining for the sea. Ahoy there, matey! <laughs> Pardon? Isn't that how you sailors greet each other? No. <laughs> what do you say then? Usually, hello. And if it's sunny? Nice day for it. We might even try a how are you today then, if we're feeling adventurous. But never, ever, ahoy. This is valuable information. Aye, matey, that it be. Why aren't you out at sea? Do you see the sail on that barge over there? Yes. Is it flapping? What? Is it flapping? Is the sail flapping in the wind? Um, uh, no. And why is that then? Because... because it's not windy? Exactly. Well, can't you just use oars or something? Oh, what an excellent idea. Now, why didn't we think of that? Of course, oars by Jaws' stunted left arm, that's it. Why have we been moored to the dock for a month with our merchandise dropping in value when we could have just rowed our way to Gien? Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> sarcastic? Me? What in Jaws' name makes you think that? How long's it been since the last wind? Near a month. Ever since that accursed alchemist put some kind of spell on the wind. Oh. The Mojal be cursed if I know why. But it's a bloody catastrophe. I've sent some good people of mine up north to deal with him. But not one has returned. Now the A-Reed High Council speak of sending an entire army platoon to sort him out. But I'm afraid that just might piss him off. Pretty sure if the wind didn't blow for a month, it'd be quite bad, just in general. I know there's magic and stuff, but, you know, there'd be no, no rain. Uh, and washing wouldn't get dry as easy and all sorts of terrible things. Who's this alchemist who cast a spell on the wind? I believe his name is Clax. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere up north, beyond Riverwood. Thanks for the chat. Aye. So now we know there's no wind. Can I go on the ship? It's a small ship. I want to go on the ship. There's clouds in the background. Yes, there are clouds in the background. You're right. 
It's a small ship. Okay, well. Assorted car. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Nothing this way. But are the clouds moving? No. <laughs> so. Look, they're not. So there we go. Frozen like that for a month. So all the plants that are under, just happened to be under shade when the wind stopped are now dead. Yeah. Hello. The old man and the, uh, ocean? Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. Better a lifetime at sea than a day in a dress and a brazier. I like how sometimes they suddenly realise that, you know, <laughs> that you're talking to them or at them or about them. Hello. Hello, old man. Oh. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. Oh. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Not what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, do you not? Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Matter what? <laughs> ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, <laughs> sweetie, I'd be happy to. Now, what stories be I wanted to hear then? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. Aye, I'd be having plenty of tales to tell. There be the tale of me adventures in the Bakshivan Empire, if he'd be interested. It'll be a tale of grand romance. Just up your alley, be sure of it. Sure, that sounds like a fine story. Let's listen to a story. Aye. It'd be near on 50 years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the Three-Legged Whore. The what? What do I be saying? She was called the Thrifty Horse, she was. Aye, that be her name. The whistle what's it? Ah, uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? Ah, uh, anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Mount Herba, the grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sits out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Mount Herba be ruled by a mock. Like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, the provinces to be having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Err, uh, and so I sets out on me own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands. And that be me adventure <laughs> in the glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Deuce and the romance the Mock's daughter. Bird. How I be chased from Mount Herba by the Mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. Ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? Uh, 
bird. What? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 no. Just concentrating really hard. Err. Good story, though. Solid, solid material. Ever considered doing a book? Aye, but the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. Oh, so they take an outrageous commission then? No, they actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a pension for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> What have you got in that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye. But it be where I keep me personal articles and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man. He be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. If you see a talking bird, I need to be him. What happened to your talking bird? I be... it cheated out of him. I, that cups handler on the marketplace, be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. Oh. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I, my best friend, taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. It'd be all lonesome now. Mm. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in a cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Oh. <laughs> me bird, bird. Well. I'd better get going. Ah, you young'uns all be always running around. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. We already have wasted quite a lot of time there with you. Well, not wasted, but you know. Spent a lot of time with you. Fix your nets. Go on. Yes, me too. Yes. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. It's like a Viking ship. Viking boat? Viking boat. Um. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have bet his, um... How do I get back to the... The big pier, the big, the big area. It's a small ship. Yeah, maybe it's for miniature Vikings, that's true. That's a small pier. The cord long boats. True. True they are. Um there, see here. Yeah. Um So it looks like <clears throat> We're going to have to get the boat back. Next time! Because, yeah, time to stop. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big ship in it. But that one? That one? Breathtaking.
But no wind. No wind. I need to do some cash. Well, I'm thinking that if I, if I talk to the bird and establish that it is the bird that we need, that is bird, and then we go back to the dude and say, look, I think I can win him back, then he might give us some money to bet, even though he has no money. So I don't know how it's going to work, but... It probably won't be anything like that. But I'm going to save it here. And I'm afraid it is time for me to go, everybody. I'm going to save it over this save right there. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, I did it. Save for that one. Save. And then we got April's diary. <clears throat> it's far too straightforward. Indeed. Uh, yeah, so I got a date with Zach, but I'm probably going to miss that. Um, so, in Arcadia, it's still... Uh, uh, is it still Saturday? Do they even have Saturdays here? Why am I not screaming and frothing and tearing my hair out when I obviously should be? When confronted with the impossible, isn't your mind supposed to just snap? Perhaps because I've had so many vivid dreams about... Okay, now I don't even know if dreams is the right word anymore. Visions, perhaps, or even better, premonitions. That's in keeping with the theme of this place, magic. Oh yeah, magic. Apparently, I'm simply supposed to accept without question that magic does exist, which is impossible. Well, clearly not impossible enough, because here uh, there is magic, wherever here is. I've written more on the next page. Well, yeah. Still, in the face of this strangeness, I feel normal for some weird and inexplicable reason. And even though I still got to warp my wrap my head around the concept, I accept this place. It feels com uh, comfortably familiar in a distant, hazy way. And even though I want to go home, like right now, I'm not panicky. Not at all. Just a little bit. Oh, and I should write the name down before I forget it. Brian Westhouse. That's the last thing Cortez told me uh, to visit. Brian Westhouse whenever I wanted to go home. Good stuff. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, joining me tonight. Has been a whole lot of fun, and uh, we'll do the same next week, I imagine. Don't think I'm doing anything. Sunday nights tend to be pretty quiet. So, um, yes, I shall see you then. Until then, take care. Have a good week. Might see you sometime before then. But uh, <clears throat> if not, make sure you tune in. Until then, thank you very much. Nothing else is up next. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that is it, I'm afraid. Good night, everybody. Doodling.